One password is a password manager that keeps you, your business information, and all your colleagues safe online. You want to use different passwords for every website, but it can be hard to keep track of them all. One password will generate, save, and fill your passwords for you. One password is available on all your devices, Mac, iOS, Windows, and Android, and in all your browsers, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, and more. So you'll always have all your information with you. Any changes you make on one device are immediately available everywhere else. You can securely share information with other people in your company, and you'll even be alerted when there are password breaches on sites you have saved in 1Password. In today's webinar, we're going to show you how to invite people to your team, share data and manage permissions, and create and manage groups. Awesome. So let's see what a typical day as a 1Password administrator looks like. So I'll start by signing into my account on onepassword.com. On my home screen, I see what everyone in my company sees, all the vaults I have access to. If you've already been using one password, this is gonna look very familiar to you. These vaults are containers that hold collections of information that we need to keep secure. They help organize items, uh, give others access to what they need. Everyone in the company gets a vault called private. That's where we store all our work-related passwords and other items. I have my own private vault, and so does everyone else on the team. On the home screen, I'll also see the other vaults I have access to, like the shared vault. The shared vault is a place where anything I add is immediately shared with everyone on the team, and every team has a built-in shared vault. So you'll see this as soon as you create your account. Now, if I have access to any other vaults, I'll see them on the home screen too. These vaults are shared with specific people in the company, so everyone has access to the data they need to do their jobs. As an administrator, I also have access to some things that the other folks on the team don't have access to. I can manage people, vaults, and groups. And the notification icon at the top of the screen alerts me to anything that needs my immediate attention. In fact, there's something that needs my attention right now. It's a notification that someone's account needs to be confirmed. I know who it is. Lisa's new to the team, so we invited her earlier. I'll just confirm Lisa now. And it was really easy to invite Lisa. There's two ways to invite people to join a team. One is to click the blue plus button and add their email addresses individually. And you'll see uh, in that list there, there's some invitations that I sent out earlier. I'm just waiting on those folks to sign up. I can also share this sign up link. I just drag the link into a group chat or email to everyone at the company and they can sign up as soon as they receive it. This was a huge help when I first created the team and I had to invite everyone all at once. Now, regardless of how I invite people, after they sign up, it's up to me to confirm their accounts, like you just saw me do for Lisa's account. And it's really easy to, uh, to bulk confirm accounts too. So if you've got hundreds of people or even thousands of people joining all at once, you can just take care of that in one click. Now that Lisa's confirmed, she can download the one password apps and get started by adding passwords to her private vault. Meanwhile, I'll make sure she has access to the other vaults she needs. So I'm gonna add her to the social media vault because she's gonna be helping us with our marketing campaigns. So I'll click vaults in the sidebar, choose the social media vault and click manage. Here I can add Lisa or anyone else to the social media vault. The gear next to her name allows me to manage what she has access to in that vault. I can make sure she can't accidentally move items to the trash or export items from the vault. Now she has access to everything she needs in the social media vault. Now 1Password Teams and 1Password Business both come with three built-in groups to help you delegate administrative responsibilities. Owners, administrators, and team members. Everyone in your team belongs to the team members group. Team members don't have any team level administrative permissions, but they can create vaults for themselves and you can allow them to manage specific vaults. Administrators can create and manage vaults, groups, and team members. They can also recover accounts if anyone loses access. Owners can do everything administrators can, plus make changes to billing 
and delete the team. They can also create vaults that no one else can access. If you created your account, you're the owner. You can't recover your own account, so make sure you add at least one other person to the owner's group. With 1Password Business, you can also create custom groups. You can create groups for departments, internal projects, office locations, or whatever makes the most sense for your team. Now I'm gonna create a new group here for our accounting department. Then I can add the right people and give them access to the vaults they need. I can even assign team level permissions like the ability to recover accounts or invite people to the team. Since this is the accounting group, I'm gonna give them permission to manage billing for the account. Now, seeing Pilar there uh, just reminds me that she's about to leave for six months to go work on her graduate degree. Since she'll be gone for so long, we wanna make sure her account isn't left active while she's away. Now, I could just delete her account and she'd automatically lose access to everything in the team, but she's coming back in six months. So I'm just gonna temporarily suspend her account. Either way, whether I delete her account or suspend it, it's just a single click. When she comes back, I'll just reactivate account and she'll have access to exactly what she did before, including any changes we make in any of her shared vaults while she's away. And now that I think of it, there's a change I can make right now. A finance vault is gonna be a great place to share bank logins, company credit cards, and contracts with the accounting team. So I'm gonna create that. Just click new vault, enter the name, you can give it a description if you want. Super easy to create a new one. Now that the vault is created, I can decide who has access to it and what they can do in the vault. I can give people access individually or as part of a group. So here I'll add the accounting group and then maybe a couple other people who I know are gonna need access who aren't part of that accounting group. Now when Pilar comes back after her six month leave and I reactivate her suspended account, she's gonna have access to that finance vault because she's part of the accounting group. So I think I'm done with my typical day as a 1Password administrator, but I'll check my email one last time to make sure nothing else needs my attention. Oh, it looks like Lisa already forgot her master password. She just signed up and uh, I guess she wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> Seriously, Lisa, while we're doing a webinar? Sorry. It's okay. I, I can't stay upset for too long. We're a Canadian company after all, and she already said she was sorry. Like every administrator, we know that people forget their passwords. That's why it was critical for us to create a secure recovery process. We all know that if a system can recover your password, then that system also has the keys to decrypt your data. That's why 1Password is different. We at 1Password never have anyone's encryption keys and we never know your master passwords. Only you and people you designate can recover accounts for your team. So now with that out of the way, I can begin recovery at any time whenever anyone lets me know that they forget their master password. I just go to that person's details page then click begin recovery. Lisa gets an email notification letting her know that the recovery process has started. In the email, there's a big button to click, recover my account. She'll receive a new secret key and choose a new master password, which not even I will ever know. Once she creates her new master password, I'll be notified by email that recovery is awaiting completion. I'll also see the pending recovery on onepassword.com if I'm signed in. And there it is now. After I click complete recovery, Lisa will receive an email telling her that her account is ready to use. Now the only thing Lisa has left to do is reauthorize one password on her devices and she'll have access to everything she had before. So that's how easy it is to get started as a one password administrator.